Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a different how-to video. This one is how to mess with and change things on your 2021 and a half Atlas in the digital cockpit display. So what I am in is an SEL Premium R-Line Atlas. So you can tell that by the steering wheel here. The R-Line has this steering wheel here, but otherwise it's still going to be an SEL Premium. And it shows the R-Line badge right there in the instrument cluster. This is set to the widescreen right now on navigation. So what I'm going to show you first off is how to change that from widescreen to your dial screen to crop screen. So the first thing you're going to do, locate this view button right here. Hit it once. Now it changes it to a crop screen. You have this data showing up in these displays right here and then this data over here on this side. Hit it again. And now you have the dial screen, the traditional. And if you don't like what's displayed right here, all you have to do is come over here to the radio hit the car button that brings up this display right here and if it doesn't bring this display up just hit the car button again until it does it'll display since start vehicle status and let's see here now it's not doing it digital cockpit there you go so now you just keep hitting that car button until you get the digital cockpit so I'm on view number two if I want to do auto it changes it to this right here if I do classic notice it also shows it right here and here over here there's my gear and speedometer so I can change it to where it does that I can also hit view 1 view 2 or view 3 and then any one of those three views there I'm able to flick these guys and change stuff so now that changed flick it again over here whoops now my assistance systems, if I flick this one, assistance systems show up in both. So I can keep flicking until I get to something that I want it to show. Road signs, no road signs available, but when they are, it'll show up right there. I still have a speedometer on the outside, right there in the dial, and then also down here at a little digital speedometer there. My gear is right here, so I can change this to route guidance, road signs, range, fuel range, destination info, compass, elevation, audio, acceleration, economy, distance, travel time, assistance systems, route guidance again, and then back to road signs. So I can do that on either side, and that's view one, two, or three, where you can do that. If you do auto or classic, you're not going to be able to do that. So here, I'll go back to Classic, and Classic brings you back to parking gear and speed over here. Inside the speedometer here, so the speed shows in the needle, and it also shows right there. Navigation in the middle right there. If you want that navigation removed, you don't like it there, come over to here, hit the nav button. You'll see this screen here with the little compass arrow in the middle, the favorites and all of this right here, but touch this little arrow down in the bottom right corner. That brings up the three little menu lines right there. You can uncheck the box for display map in instrument cluster. And now it moves it over here and it removes it from over here. I hit the view button again. There's my crop screen. There's my dial screen or classic at this point. And then I can also change right here using left or right of the OK button tabs to show what's it's something different here. Vehicle status, phone radio station or the compass so I'm going to go back to driving data I have it there I can also hit the up and down arrow here because there's more stuff up and down here so I can change between fuel range speed road sign oil temperature trip economy overview range speed road sign oil temperature again trip odometer right there and then fuel economy and then an overview so I have all of those. Most people go with speed though. So now speed shows up here in the center, here in the center of the speedometer, and then outside on the dial as well. So you got three speedometers there. I'm not sure why you would need that, but that's your capability there. And then back here. Now if I decide I want to display this over here again on it behind the steering wheel, I just pull that up, check the box, and now it's back. This is coming up because husbands 
touch their wife's car or the wife touches the husband's car and accidentally changes something or, or messes with something and they don't know how to get it back. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, if, if it has, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please be sure to share this video. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please do so. It helps me out, helps the channel out, helps me bring more stuff to you. Um, and I'm going to start doing things to help grow the channel. So please share away. And if you got questions, leave me a comment or uh, you can actually text me. 636-290-4257 is my number. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Resells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great 2021.